This is Jeopardy. Here are today's contestants from McDonough, Georgia, Mitchell Hill, from Lakewood, Washington, Scott Egbert, and our returning champion, a bingo hall runner from Stratford, Ontario, Canada, Andrew Hawking, whose free day cash winnings total $22,250. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Dante Pittman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Good hey. afternoon and welcome to another round of Jeopardy. As I said, Andrew is our returning champion with $22,250. Heck over one, he's starting. Now, he will face two returning players, Scott Egbert and Mitchell Hill. Are we ready, gentlemen? Yes. All right. Let's start with the Jeopardy round. All right. And we have the six categories. We have organizations, South American countries, West Virginia, buy the book, book in quotation marks. You have a pet. What? And finally, TV nicknames. All right, Andrew, you're our returning champion. You'll start. Okay, let's go to uh, buy the book for 200. Book that requires a balancing act every month. What is a checkbook? Ah, uh, checkbook. Uh, let's go to let's go to buy the book for 400. In a 1958 hit. Excuse me. In a 1958 hit record, the monotones ask, tell me, tell me, tell me, oh, who wrote this? What is the book of love? Oh. Okay, let's go to, you have a pet what? For 200. The pot-bellied species of these can grow to over 100 pounds, others up to 1,000. Andrew. What is a pig? What are pigs? Yep. Got it. Uh, let's go the same category for 400, please. The lenticulate one, the lectu excuse me, the lenticulate one of these snakes may live, may like, may live 20 years and grow to 30 feet. Mitch. What is a python? You got it. Mitch is on the board. Oh, wow. You have a pet what for 600? Pitch a clue, take a look. This strutting bird in India makes a nice watchdog er, watchbird. Mitch. There's a peacock. Got it. Ah. Pet 800. The African pygmy type of this is sold as a pet, the Sonic one, as a video game. Scott. Oh, that's a hedgehog. Got it. Everybody's on. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, I don't own Sonic. Sorry. It's all right. <clears throat> Go ahead, Go ahead. What? For a thousand? All right. Medieval monks dine on these flat-tailed aquatic rodents, saying as fish, they could be eaten on fast days. What are beavers? Oh. <clears throat> Alright, let's go somewhere else, guys. Uh, TV nicknames for 200. Hey! Fonzie called this character Shortcake on Happy Days. <clears throat> Who is Joanne? Excuse me. Oh. <clears throat> Joanne. Nicknames 400. Barbara Feldon's numerical TV agent nickname. Andrew. Uh, what is a uh, uh, 86? No, not 86. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is 99? Oh, I was close. Go ahead, Scott. I thought double O's there, but that's just <laughs> odd. Uh, nickname is this. 
Wheezy was a name for this character on the Jeffersons. Who's Wheeze? You know what, let's go organized day test for 200. This National Society publishes a bi monthly magazine titled American Birds. And what is the National Ge Geographic? No, not National Geographic. Oh. What is the Nas National Abaddon Society? Oh, that was a tricky one. Tricky one indeed. Go ahead, Scott. Organizations for. Picture clue, take a look. A California board maintained by of these dry plums has regular meetings. Mitch. What are raisins? Mm, no, I'm afraid. Andrew. It's a prunes. Yes, prunes. You're out of the hole. Whew, oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, let's go to TV nicknames for 800. <laughs> It's the nickname of the MASH character from Crap Apple Cove, Maine. Hmm. What is Hawkeye? Oh! Hawkeye. Let's, finish let's finish that category off for a thousand. This actor <clears throat> turned the tables as Phoenix Flyjack at WKRP. Andrew. Uh, who is Tim Reed? Back in the lead. Uh, let's go to South American countries for 200. Now, just so y'all know, before I pick this, just so you know, all of them have picture clues. All right, here's the first one. C is the largest country in South America. Scott. What is Rio de Janeiro? Mm -hmm. what, is, or what is Brazil? I have to take the first answer. I'm sorry. It's wrong. All right. Andrew. That is Brazil. You got it. We want the country. Ah, I, kept it. I knew that C, C yes. one was real, but yes. can't be country. Yes. Yes. No, we're, we're, it's countries we're going yes, for. We're countries. South American countries, 400. All right, here's another one. The name, the name Pichilimu, a Pacific Beach resort, contains the name of this country seen here that is in. What is Chile? Okay. Oh. Uh, let's try South American countries. Six hundred. Third picture clue. Take a look. Cities in this South American country include Rosario and Santa Cruz. What is Argentina? <laughs> South American countries for eight hundred. All right. For this point. On this country specific coast is the westernmost point in South America. What is Peru? Let's finish it off for a thousand. And a double. Alright, Andrew, you have twelve hundred bucks. You're up by six hundred dollars. Scott and Mitch are tied by six. Uh let's bet let's I'm gonna play a save and uh bet two hundred. Bet two hundred. Okay, here's the clue. At 3,212 feet, Angel Falls is in this South American country is the world's highest. Uh, what is Venezuela? You got it. Oh, I should have been more, but it's too late now. Too late now, but you got it. Go ahead. Let's go, uh, let's go to West Virginia for 200. Each summer, Grandview National Park recreates the feud between the Hatfields and Andrew. The McCoys. You're on the McCoys, yep. Yeah. Uh, West Virginia for 400, please. In 1859, John Brown raided the arsenal of this ferry, now West Virginia's easternmost town. What is Harper's Ferry? Uh, let's go to West Virginia for 600. Virginia has the highest average elevation east of the Mississippi, which may account for this official state nickname. What is the Mountain State? Uh, let's go to West Virginia for 800. 
This capital city shares its name with a popular 20th century dance. Mitch. What is Charleston? You got it. That's Virginia 1000. Of 1853, 1863, or 1873, the year West Virginia became a state. Scott. Um, what is 1863? You got it. Okay. <laughs> Good name, multiple choice. Yep. By the book, 600. Steve McGarrett's command to Danny Williams at the end of a Hawaii Five-O episode. Andrew. But it's Boko, Boko Daniel. Boko Daniel. We'll, we'll set that. We'll set that. Boko Daniel is what we want, but uh, let's go to buy. Let's go to buy the book for eight hundred. All right. In 1962, he he led the MGs to a top ten hit with Green Onions. Who is Booker T? Booker T. Booker T. Oh. Let's finish it off for a thousand. This. <coughs> This ancient, uh, this ancient Egyptian collection was literally the chapters of coming forth by day. This is the book of the dead. Uh, uh, let's go to organizations for 600. This third U.S. president was also the third president of the American Fossil Society. Andrew. Uh, who is uh, Jefferson? Thomas Jefferson. That's the one. Uh, 800, please. The Watchtower Bible and Tract Society is a legal agency of, this, of these religious witnesses. What are Jehovah's Witnesses? Let's finish it off with a thousand. Blue Hawaiian <clears throat> and the Teddy Bear Patrol are fan clubs of this king of rock and roll. Andrew. Who is Elvis Presley? Got it. For, so at the end of the Jeopardy round, Andrew has 3,800 in first place. Scott is in second with 1,600. Mitch has 1,400, which means Mitch is going first in double Jeopardy, and that will happen after this. <laughs> 